Oh, lordy, lordy. This is the worst. Hey, Zach, I'm a little injured. Do you have a stim pack I could borrow? No, Mike, I don't have anything. Well, how much health do you have? I, like, four. <laughs> is that ghoul still alive? Correct that. Or break him. Shut up. The Tampa Ghost Show is list. Sierra Madre opens its door to the world. The opening of our great casino and resort will feature a unique gala showcasing... Artists of world renown, Miss Vera Keys. Miss Vera Keys, Mr. Dean Domino, Joey Baxter, and Wilfred the Wizard. That's me, I'm Wilfred the Wizard! God damn it. Everybody hates me! Gee, I wonder why, Wilfred. Uh, Performance preparations, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, stage directions, got it. So you showed. Felt the collar start kicking again as soon as the elevator doors rattled open. What? Think you're going to upstage me here at the Sierra Madre? I don't think so. No, man, now I don't that care. I'm inside, well, I don't need you anymore. So, you're stabbing me in the back for the Sierra Madre. You think I'm the bad guy here? I'm not the one slapping bomb collars on innocent folks and flicking the switch. And I'm not stabbing you in the back. I was facing you all the time. This heist, I planned it lifetimes ago. You and that old man, tourists. Time for a little show. I'll just grab a seat and watch how this plays out from backstage. Security can handle it from here. Oh, don't turn on the holograms, come on. Yeah, but what about the collars? You're gonna kill me and then you'll die. I can kill you and still make it out while security is busy frying you to a crisp. Hands are clean, then smooth sailing to the Sierra Madre. You really want to place your life on that bet? Even if you get back here, you won't live long, trust me. Uh, we've already shut down oh, most of the holograms. Uh, not that way. Oh, there we got some holograms here. We, uh... Might not want to be seen by them. Or we could just get right up in their face. Why not? I'm trying to jump up there. It's not like we have a, a, a lack of health or anything. No, it's totally fine. Oh, what the f- <laughs> Yeah. What? <laughs> Are you serious? I can't get through the curtain. The curtain is an impenetrable field. All right, key got us backstage. Uh, more radio beeping. More clouds. Ah. Now, now. That's my room. You want your own dressing room? You have to work for it. Dean Domino's blackmail tape. Uh, Dean, I didn't hear you come in. I'm not wearing my dancing shoes, so I walk a little softly now. What? You think I was a Chinaman? Come to cut your American throat? You're not wearing anything! Dean, really? <laughs> what? No hug? Come here. Dean, I'm getting ready. You sing like a bird, pop the safe, and we're as through as through can be. Stop being creepy, Dean. Dean I just... About tonight, I... I don't know. You don't know? I ask one simple favor of you, and you tell me no. I didn't say no. That was one of the three words that I said. You said that I don't think... I'll send you back to the farm, worse off than you were, because you'll have seen the Sierra Madre and had to let it all go. I could have gotten any leggy dame out of Hollywood to get out here and play Sinclair's heartstrings. Look, I'm not trying to hurt you. Just one last little job, a little less dirty, a little less messy. He trusts you, Vera. And so do I. After this, I promise you, all those other horror tapes, they'll go away. Of course, Dean. You know what? Dean Domino's a scumbag. Yes, he is. Where the hell is Dean, anyway? Probably hiding in Vera's room. Could Probably be. smelling her underpants. <laughs> he is a creep. He's a freaking weirdo. Dean, where are ya? Turns out Dean is not sniffing Vera's underpants. Ah, 
Dang it, I really thought he would be in here doing that. So, can't leave well enough alone. Have to enter Vera's room. Some things are better left in the past, partner. Don't worry, Dean, we're gonna come for you. Yeah. <laughs> Even though Vera never could. Oh! All right, you're resourceful, I'll give you that. It's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. As I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same. You'll be clawing at the lock until your head blows off. So, maybe you and I should have a little chat. Just like we did when you first waltzed into town. I remember that conversation. Zack threatened to kill you both. Yeah, that was fun, because I have no sense of self-preservation whatsoever. Nah, besides, I'm guessing you have the key to the exit on you. Lucky guess. You sure about that? Because if you make a mistake, well, Sierra Madre's got us both. Actually, you know what? Give me the key and you can leave. I give you this key and there's nothing to keep you from just killing me and running. So the only chance I've got left is making sure you don't leave. And there's no way in hell I'm letting you get to the Sierra Madre vault instead of me. I don't want anything Not that's in there! after all this time. Look, seriously, are you... Is, is your brain decayed as your skin is? Forget about the Sierra Madre. Who cares? I waited an entire lifetime. Sitting in that villa, watching it all fall apart. Sinclair's Sierra Madre towering over everything? Untouched! Then you show up, thinking you can just take it all from me. You and the old man running the show. <laughs> oh, my God. I planned all this. I made it all happen. Not you. Dude, whatever's in there isn't going to be worth anything anymore anyway. Sure, yeah. I have the key on me. I made other keys, too, to unlock the casino in ruins Sinclair, finally. After all these years. No. Now... Now I think ruining you and all your plans would be enough for me. <laughs> okay. Kill me, I still win. You're never getting in the vault. We, we gotta be careful, though. <laughs> Time to cash this one Here we go. out. <laughs> okay, that, he just stands there. <laughs> there we go. Get to the door before the collar explodes. Move! Oh. I really didn't want to kill... Well... Okay, I did want to kill Dean. But also, I kind of didn't. I wanted to find, like, a peaceable option for that. Yeah, not because you liked him or anything. You're just lazy. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want to... I didn't want to run the risk of getting killed. But Dean just really did not want to let it go. So, you shoot him dead. Oh, I, hold on, I gotta use a stim pack. Ah, I injured myself. Oh, you have stim packs? I got, like, 30 of them. Oh, my God, give me some! <laughs> no. <laughs> Shoot you in the testicles! Ow! Click, click! <laughs> yeah, how you like spear? You think spears are so great as a weapon, huh? Well, fight. Fight, fight fire with fire and fight. Ow, my fucking knee! <laughs> okay, well. Hey! Hey! We got one! Man, those legs are hard to hack through. I, now I see why there aren't more serial killers. Especially with a, a spear made out of a bunch of knives that are. Literally held on by bailing twine. <laughs> if it's who I think it is, this is Christine. Hi. What's it covered? In what looks like an old world hotel room. High class. Two rooms. Exit sealed. All doors are locked down. Security's activated. And emitter signals are lighting up all over this floor. I'll do what I can from here. Floor's got holographic security. Not latest tech. Field of view targeting systems, primitive, familiar. How's Christine able to talk again? How'd you do that, Christine? It, you know, it could be a trap. It might not be Christine. It could be Elijah using a voice modulator. Uh, come here, carrier. I'm lusty for you. Ew. Um, uh, I could. Ooh. Why did you leave me here? What? Why? Uh, is is Christine having a breakdown? Terminal says... Oh, we can disable... Oh, the disable the speakers. 
Download Starlet Hologram Code Snippets? Probably useful, whatever. Superheated knife? Okay, just one cosmic this. piece of shit knife, <laughs> one pilot light, one hot plate, something to hold the damn thing to cook evenly. It's literally just heating a knife on a <laughs> on a stove. Yeah. It's heating a knife on a stove. Yeah, the fancy superheated knife. <laughs> uh. We all pay for what we've done. I'm so sorry, Sinclair. Sorry. What? I I should have trusted you. Oh. Oh, that's oh. the hologram. Angry exactly. hologram security. Uh, maybe we can take it down with a knife spear. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Come here. Come out, out. Nope, it ain't, it ain't liking this. It ain't happy. Where is the hologram emitter? Unlock security clock. Recalibrate hologram. Oh, this is interesting. Recalibrate hologram IFF. So it'll shoot its own hologram. No, so it just won't shoot at me, hopefully. Oh. Hello. A hunting shotgun could be useful. Yeah, I'm, um, I actually know how to use one of those. <laughs> Unlike a pistol, where I'm a complete clueless moron. Yeah, I have no idea how to use this thing. Was that meant? Boner for guns. <laughs> well, we'll take that, I guess. <laughs> Give me that hunting shotgun, though. Let me see that copy of Boner for Guns, because I got a boner for Boner for Guns. Christine! Don't jump out at us. Zach has a shotgun now. Yeah, I might, like, freak out. So please don't jump out at me. Oh, thank God. Look at all this 12-gauge ammo. Sinclair? Sinclair, where did you go? Why did you leave me here? Why? Uh, because you're a hologram? I'm going to die here. Amongst the ghosts. I... I'm still being recorded by the holographic system. As the bombs were dropping, Vera's personality was duplicated into a hologram. That's creepy. <laughs> yeah. So now the security system shoots you and also has a mental breakdown. I'm just going to shoot this radio real quick. Oh, God, St. Clair. People are shooting radios all around me. What's going on? Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys knock it off, please? They want to be your friend. <laughs> they want to share their ghost fists and spears with your stomach. <laughs> God, these guys suck. <laughs> oh, good, there's more. Yeah, there was some on the bottom floor. <laughs> so now, new area. Uh, what was her name again? Christine. Christine, where are you? Wow, that's a lot of scotch. Who's thirsty? Everybody, because alcohol is a diuretic. <laughs> Sounds like I smoked a mile of cigarettes. <laughs> that sounded like Christine. <laughs> you made it. Good. There's to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. Hey, she no longer sounds like a robot. Yeah. I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. I'm down for killing him because he pissed me off. Thought I might have had a chance to settle it before this event happened. But then the chance slipped away again. What do you do, fuck your mother? He... Cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He cut me off while I was driving. He used his status to break us apart. So I had to find a new purpose. Same banner. Then he became unstable. Left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. And then you failed to do that. He said he knew you. He saw me before the scars at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive, if you know where to look. Oh, I've Almost been there. Got trapped there. There was someone else, though, who came along. Knew about Elijah. A courier. Wore an old world flag on his back. Oh, God, that he guy! Was the one who pulled me out there. Told me where Elijah had gone. Helped me heal up. Listened to my story. He... Sympathized. Why? He said he understood what it meant to track someone who had such a impact on his past life. He said people were like couriers, 
sometimes never understanding the messages they brought. He said that, and also 73 other things. He, he never shut up. Is that auto dock there work? Yeah, it's still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. Its basic procedures should still work fine. Cool. Um, I might need that. Can the auto dock heal your scars? No. They run a lot deeper than that. No. While I was hunting Elijah in the Big Empty, he trapped me in one of those medical research centers buried there. It did something to my head, and I got off lucky. It's difficult enough to read now, and somehow the leap between what's in my head and words... It just ends up being a mishmash of symbols, not letters. Can still do math, formulas, equations. Writing poetry's out. You can't do poetry? What a loss. <laughs> poetry's important. Is it? Is it, though? You don't have to be a warrior to benefit from poetry, Mike. <laughs> okay. You said you got off lucky? Yeah. I saw records of other patients and what had been done to them. Some couldn't hear anything but static. Others just gibbering wrecks, never going back. Yeah, they replaced all my fingers with penises while I was there. And Elijah was on his way here, <laughs> so I couldn't stop to see if it was something I could fix. Then I got here, and my voice got severed. Now I have a new one. Another thing Elijah has to answer for. You sound like the woman in the Sierra Madre broadcast. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. Oh, there she is. She's dead. Ooh, I know who would want this dress. Vera? Oh, Veronica. Fix me, Autodoc! Beep boop. Fixing commenced. Look at this naughty penis. We must cut it off. Congratulations, you have three more hit points restored. <laughs> That's nothing! <laughs> Do it again! Sorry, I'm tired. Oh, come on. Not right now. I have a headache. <laughs> this is, is it, pathetic. Is it restoring anything? No, it's not doing anything at all. You're back. You sure you still want me here? Callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. You just gotta wait a little bit longer. Fine. I hear my collar beeping, though. I've got the route to the exit all mapped out. Okay, Ooh. that's fine. She's planning ahead. Welcome, Ms. Keys. Please speak for re recognition access. Would you stop? <laughs> Such a kidder. This is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. God, this script. Uh, well, we've got her, a sample of her voice, but I think we actually have to have her say a password. Oh. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet... She didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? Because Sinclair had a huge boner for her. Or maybe it was a little tiny boner. I don't know the size of his penis. I don't know either. I can't find his skeleton, and even then I still wouldn't know. <laughs> Listen, we can find his penis bone, which is definitely a thing. Raccoons have a penis bone. Most mammals do. Yeah, walruses do. Yes, they Jesus Christ do. <laughs> Fun fact, the walrus has the largest penis relative to body size of any mammal. Yes, I don't think a walrus's penis bone would fit in a human coffin. <laughs> Fun fact! <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but walruses They're are They're seven real. feet big! Oh my god! <laughs> you don't know how big a walrus penis is? What's wrong with you? Uh, this place, it doesn't feel like a casino. Probably because it's broken and old. <laughs> the sealed doors, the security, it's almost a fortress. Think that's why we're being ordered to come here and crack it open? It could be the target of someone's obsession. Ooh, I'm gonna kiss this casino. Love makes people do strange things. Won't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't... connect. If they loved each other, and they were together. I suppose that's all that mattered. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. And who knows where he is. She died alone, trapped in her own room. Only the drugs to comfort her. Neither Dean nor Sinclair was around to help her. And then she, I guess, died of dehydration there. Or overdose. That would have been the quicker way to go. Yeah. Are you prepared? What if you don't come back? Avenge me. 
<laughs> Avenge me! No, um, what do you mean by that? When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. No, it's totally fine. He'll come here, and when he does, you let him go through and I'll murder him. I can't let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not going to show himself until you go down there. No, like, seriously, you need to trust me and just let go of this. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... he's done so much worse. See, you're letting hate eat you up inside, and that's why you want vengeance. I just want to kill him because he inconvenienced me. Is that supposed to be a persuasive argument? Let me get the vault open. Begin again, but know when to let go. <laughs> Sounds like you. <laughs> yeah, Zach, you gotta learn when to let go. The Sierra Madre is not worth dying over. Huh? What? I'm sorry, I was looking at Christine's butt. Yeah, that's combat armor. It's not supposed to be sexy. Begin again, but no one to let go. Okay, bye, Christine. I'll come find you in a little bit. If we're not dead. <laughs> I saw a video online. Oh, oh walrus penis! No, I saw a video online of this woman by a whale corpse, and she's just handling the, like, wiggling the penis around, <laughs> and just being like, this is the whale's penis. And it's like, it's fucking huge! Stop touching it, lady! <laughs> <laughs>